North Korea is again pressuring the United States, sending out reminders of what Chairman Kim Jong-un warned back in April, that he'll only wait until the end of this year for the US to make a courageous decision. The implication then, and now, is that Pyongyang will reverse its intention to denuclearize unless Washington changes its approach to negotiations, and that we could be heading back to the kind of hostilities that led US President Donald Trump to threaten the North with fire and fury back in 2017. North Korea seems to be sending out some clear signals that it's willing to talk but is trying to force Washington's hand and feels direct talks with Trump are the way forward. Perhaps Pyongyang feels Trump's political battle at home and unconventional nature could yet produce a favorable deal. Recent statements from two key former North Korean nuclear envoys highlighted the Kim-Trump relationship, but they were both laced with warnings and blamed US officials other than Trump for hostilities. Vice Chairman of the Workers' Party Central Committee Kim Yong-chol, for example, said Sunday that the US is the one being crafty, rather than seriously considering how to change its approach to a denuclearization dialogue deadlock that was confirmed rather than broken in Sweden earlier this month. He said the US is seriously mistaken if it's of the idea of passing off in peace the end of this year by exploiting the close personal relations between President Trump and Chairman Kim, adding the two sides can fall into a state of belligerency if there's no substantial progress. He also confirmed that Pyongyang was concerned by Washington's call for the final fully verified denuclearization of North Korean weapons at last month's United Nations General Assembly, with the North apparently seeking a phased approach with early sanctions concessions. And these comments came just three days after Foreign Ministry Advisor Kim ke kwan voiced hope that special relations between Chairman Kim and President Trump will create a motive force to remove challenges between the two countries going forward. But he also urged the US to act wisely and accused Washington officials of being hostile to North Korea despite Trump's intention. But is even Trump ready to come to the table with anything new to offer after walking away himself from a potential deal in Hanoi last February?